Alright, this will be a really quick tutorial on how to use the loft tool in Autodesk. It can create some pretty interesting shapes. One of these is shown right here. Uh, but under interesting does also come weird, uh, as can be shown by this point here. So it's really something to that's pretty cool to mess around with, and it can be pretty useful. So I'm going to create a new file. And it's very easy to create a loft. So for this, what I did is I created a circle centered at the origin went out one inch, and I finished the sketch. Then I made a plane offset from this plane by clicking on the offset from plane right there, and clicking on the XY plane, and bringing it out two inches. Now I'm going to create a 2D sketch on this plane, and I'm, I'm going to create a square that's one inch wide by one inch tall. So now I'm going to dimension this and this point if I can. There, got it. And that's going to be uh, 0 0.5. I'm going to do the same thing on here. So that's centered. 0 0.5. And there we are. Finish sketch and then offset from this plane by one inch. Now I'm going to create a 2D sketch on this plane and create a triangle using the polygon tool from the center to about right there. And then I'll dimension this to be half an inch. Now I just select the loft tool, click on this circle, click right there, click on this square, click right there, and click right there. And there we have it. We have this weird triangle square circle shape. So now that we've got basic lofting down, uh, it's also really easy to create a lofted cut. So what we're going to want to do is create this 1 inch by 1 inch by 1 inch cube. Then we're going to create a 2D sketch on this face. I'm going to create a center point arc from the midpoint of here probably about right there like that doesn't need to be anything perfect and then I'm gonna rotate around to this side create a 2D sketch on this side and here I don't know I'm gonna do a hexagon like that and finish sketch and now I should be able to click the loft tool select the sketch We're going to have to edit the sketch and create a line between these two points so that it'll recognize that as a shape. If it'll let me. Apparently it won't. Here, let's see if doing that will help. There we go. So unfinished sketch, create a loft, select this sketch and that shape, click right there and select that sketch and then that shape. And then select extruded cut and there we go. It goes from a semicircle to a hexagon and cuts through that shape. This is just another really quick example to show really how versatile the loft tool is. I created this shape in a matter of probably about one or two minutes using the loft tool. So just to give you an idea of how I did that, what I did was I created a square and dimension it from there, one inch. So one inch square, then I created a plane offset from the XZ plane uh, up two inches. Then I created a 2D sketch on this plane and created a circle, probably right about there. I'm not going to dimension this. Um, and then lofted from there to there to create the first part. And then I created a 2D sketch on this face. 
redid that circle then created a 2D sketch on the XY plane and created a rectangle up there that was really bad like right there um, then I lofted from this circle to that circle and boom it's done that was really quick using the loft tool uh, the way I, the, because I did it in two parts because it won't let you select more than one part from the same sketch but anyway that's the loft tool really simple